Been watching the leaves change for a week? Here are some mad moments you may have missed. Monday, 10 a.m. Cartoon Network celebrates its 20th anniversary, but is still not old enough to stay up past nine. Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively get married, but avoid exchanging rings for fear of reminding anyone of the last ring debacle. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Morgan Freeman says reports of his death are a hoax, unless, of course, the afterlife looks like this. <laughs> You're the only person I know to call. Aw, thanks. Not you, him. Listen to me. This next part is very important. Tell me what happened. My son, he was kidnapped. No, he was taken. Who would have done this? Who are your enemies? Well, there's sharks, octopus, barracuda. Uh, wait a second. How are you not drowning right now? Aren't you a mammal? What I am is a man with a very particular set of skills. One of them is breathing underwater. That's impossible! My other skill is not taking sass from fish. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to save your clownfish son. Do you have a tain? Nah, go fish. You sharks are the most feared fish in the sea. You must have taken Nemo. Where is he? Stop! You're breaking every challenge in my body! Please, mate. We didn't touch the kid. Fish are friends, not food. Then who did it? Well, considering how punch-happy you are, I don't think I should... Who? It was the mermaid. Oh, my gosh. He must be here. Look at all this stolen stuff. Oh, hey, a music box. I always wanted one of these. Hey, who are you? That's who I am. Now, where's Nemo? I have no idea. Listen, someone captured Nemo. And if I don't get some answers, I'm going to start beating people up. Start? Yeah, start. Wait, stop. I think I know who it was. <laughs> this is the best day ever. All right, square pants. I hear you like catching things in nets. Have you caught a fish called Nemo lately? Nemo? How would I know? Wait a second, how are you breathing down here? It's what I do! <laughs> He's lucky he left. I would have taken care of... Where am I? Nemo! What's going on here? Hi, I'm John Lasseter, Chief Creative Officer at Pixar. And I'll tell you what's going on. You see, first we made movies. Then we made 3D movies. And now we've realized, who needs to make new movies when we can just turn our old movies into 3D movies? Isn't that right, Nemo? Everything's so blurry! He's gonna love it. You'll never get away with this! But we have a movie for you, too! Like I said, you'll always get away with this! From Pixar, it's the movie the world has been waiting for, now in 3D! It's Liam Neeson punches you in the face! I couldn't punch someone wearing 3D glasses! Sure I could! <laughs> Guys, look! I invented fire! Check it out! Oosh! Oosh! Come on! This is awesome! I'm sorry, did you also invent bragging? <laughs> I'm Batman, and there's just two things I believe in. Justice and freshly baked bread. But if you're like me, you have a hectic schedule of crime fighting. That's why I use the Dark Knight Bread Riser. Developed by Wayne Enterprises, the Dark Knight Bread Riser can withstand a rocket fired by a penguin. It has temperature control to protect it from freeze guns. And it dings when your dough is ready. I love that sound. And if you're called away to battle evil, the Bread Riser has different settings to match how long you'll be gone. From the Joker. <laughs> to Killer Moth.
Ah, perfect. So use the Dark Knight Bread Riser for perfect bread every time. Mmm, just like Mother used to make. Mother, Father, I will avenge you. I will become a bread baker. The Dark Knight Bread Riser. I am the night. Because during the day, I make bread. I got it! I got it! I got it! Extinction. It can happen at any time. From the producers of the most annoying show on television comes The Adventures of Iron Man. Hey everyone, I'm Iron Man. Get it? <laughs> Is this a hit show yet? Just a matter of time. <laughs> With state of the art effects. What, you were expecting something different? These superhero shows cost money, you know? Just ask my assistant, Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Hi, I'm Pepper. <laughs> Hey, Pepper, can you believe people are watching this? <laughs> and soon to be iconic characters. Uh oh, better watch out. It's the bad guy, Shu. Hi, I'm Shu. Am I popular yet? <laughs> Doesn't matter, because if you're not, we'll just slap some teeth on something else. Am I right, Shu? You said it. <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of Iron Man. Just one step away from being called the inanimate object with a face. Sir, you'll have to empty your pockets of all metal. Actually, you'll have to take your pockets off because they're also metal. Look, I'm a time-displaced knight from the past. Metal is the least of my problems. I don't have ID or money. I'm not even here for a plane. My griffin just happens to be at this airport. Mmm, <coughs> peanuts. <coughs> This country deserves a great president. And throughout history, whenever great things happened, Alfred E. Newman was there. When Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, Alfred E. Newman was there. When Jesse Owens won the Olympic gold medal, Alfred E. Newman was there. When Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, Alfred E. Newman was there. And when Alfred E. Newman is sworn in as president, Alfred E. Newman will also be there. Alfred E. Newman for president. You know, Staring contests don't really work when neither of us have eyelids. Never mind. I win! I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but it's true! An evil queen put a spell on you and all the other classic characters. Now no one remembers who they are! You have to believe me! You are... Johnny Bravo. Oh, mama. Still working that, huh? What's that? Nothing. But if I'm really Johnny Bravo, that would mean I'm terrible with women. And I'm great with women. I mean, look, I just picked up this foxy mama. That's not a foxy mama, it's a mama fox. Ow, rabies. We have to round up all the other cartoon characters and restore their memories. Otherwise, something terrible will happen. First, Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, right, right, the genius inventor. He accomplished so much at such a young age. I can only imagine where he is now. Aha! I have done it! I have created... Five by seven glossy of your pitch now, sir. Looks like there's some red eye. Tell it to the vet. Good advice, Nelson. How can I help? Got him. Okay, who's next? Remember Samurai Jack? The honorable Japanese warrior who wielded a magic sword and could jump a hundred feet? Yeah, well, now he's Landscaper Jack. This right here is your classic privacy screen. This one is an evergreen hedge that I've pruned into the shape of a heart. This next one, you know, I can just jump in that bag. Seriously, I get it. You're supposed to be Elvis. Now stop. We have to hurry or something terrible will happen. Okay, so that's cow and that's chicken. But she thinks she's a cow and he thinks he's a chicken. Dude, I think you need to hydrate or something. What I'm trying to say is they were once famous cartoon characters too. Does any of this sound familiar? I'm sorry, were you talking to me? I can't chew grass in here.
here at the same time. Oh, forget it. Everyone, in the bag. You know, I actually always thought of myself as more of a goose. Is that weird? You're asking me? I've been thinking I'm four. The only way to get your memories back is to break the evil spell. That means we have to confront the evil force that controls this town. All right, you must be the one behind all this. Show yourself. Didi, but how could you? I had to get rid of you guys in order to make room for new shows on Cartoon Network, like Mad. What's Mad? It's the terrible thing I was talking about. Here, let me show you. What's Mad? It's the terrible thing I was talking about. Here, let me show you. What's Mad? It's the terrible thing I was talking about. Here, let me show you. What's Mad? Whoa, I just had a nightmare that I was no longer on TV that I was replaced by some show that constantly makes pop cultural references, but doesn't really make jokes about them. Huh, thank goodness none of that is real. <laughs> Your cable bill goes toward shows like this! <laughs>